Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dog, cats, and squirrels, or anybody who might want to listen to an old man like me. Hello, world. Hello, money. Hola, dinero. Hola, mundo. Shout outs. Shout outs. Awesome shout outs. I say shout outs all over the world. You know what time is. You better stop playing with me. Man, what another great day. Again, shout outs. Day late, dollar short. But I don't ever get forget to give all my friends uh, their shout outs and their flowers that's deserving. Because I always tell people every day when I talk to them, give a person their flowers while they're alive. Nobody wants any flowers while they're stinking. You know what I'm saying? You better stop playing with me. All right, guys. So we're going to get right to it, man. It's going to be real quick. Uh, today also, uh, I think I'm going to be going over to Versailles, Kentucky. It's a lot of markers over there I'm going to be getting over there. And uh, I think that's what I'm going to be uh, presenting there today. Okay, so in the meantime, I have two young ladies. You know, I have to start out with my ladies. And the first young lady I want to start out with name's Bree. She's a receptionist there in Cincinnati. Shout out to you, Bree. Uh, wonderful young lady. Helped me with my paperwork there in Cincinnati when I was there at the office. And uh, the young man named Trent also is a receptionist there. Trent and Bree, shout you guys out, man. Thank you. It was a pleasure being you guys. Uh, form the friendship in two minutes. <laughs> That's what I do. And uh, this is Professor Bowtie on the scene in my high visibility green. You better stop playing with me. So, Bree and Trent, make sure you guys follow me everywhere I go, man, because I'm always all over the place taking pictures of historical landmarks in 60 seconds. And as I said, it's not only for kids, it's for adults as well. And then on the other side of that card I gave you guys, you know, that channel of mine, I got a Colorado Buffaloes and my veterans that I take care of too. All right, so it's a pleasure meeting you guys. God bless you. And I truly hope I can see you guys again in the future. All right, so I got that out of the way. Now, Trent Bree, you officially in the books. Hello, world. Hello, money. Hola, dinero. Oh, la mundo. All right, on to the next one. Um, the next one is uh, Rachel. This young lady was uh, at Love. She's one hand that I bought coffee there. I think I bought her. Oh, bought me a couple of hats to match my uniform. And uh, just had a great time with her, too. I want you want to shout you out, Rachel, over in Sadieville at Love's. Uh, man, they have everything over there, love. You know, that's a truck stop for truckers and, uh, tr and, a, and a stop for me, too, because they have a lot of things in there. Like, I always find something that I can always find. Found two pretty hats to go with my uniform, and that's a beautiful thing. So, anyway, uh, she's over at Love's. And, Rachel, it was a pleasure meeting you. God bless you, sweetheart. And, and wish you much success and be safe over there, too. I never did really care about being behind nobody's cash register, but. Yeah, that's, that's that's a tough job, man. That's a very, very tough job. You can't take it lightly. But it was a pleasure meeting you, Rachel. God bless you. And I always come through uh, Sadieville. So I probably stop in and say hello to you. All right, so that was it for my ladies. I only had two ladies yesterday I met. But the rest of these guys are pew knuckleheads. You had to stop playing with me. So let's get right to it. Now, over there uh, yesterday in Cincinnati, where I was saying I met um, Bree and Trent. There was also the security guard there. You know, he protects that building and the parking lots and things of that nature. And his name's Jerry. Shout you out, Jerry. You're doing a great job, man. Protect the cars, protect the buildings, protect the people, protect everybody, man. That's your job, and I really appreciate you protecting them. That's a beautiful thing. You better stop playing with me. All right, Jerry, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. Shouting you out. All right, yeah, I want to move on over to uh, Terrell. He's a truck driver. Terrell, shouting you out. I met Terrell over there at Love as well. And uh, Ter Terrell is out of Philadelphia. I went to tell him about when I went to school for one year up in Philadelphia. They kicked me out of Simon Gratz and they kicked me out of Darvin's Tech. <laughs> and uh, my family sent me on back to Tampa. Uh, man, I was a hell raised up there in Philadelphia, man. It was crazy. But we was talking about that and uh, he was saying, yeah, third, third and diamond over in North Philly, baby. My Lord, what a, what a crazy neighborhood. But yeah, uh, it was fun meeting you. Terrell, I know we're going to be getting to meet, uh, do a lot of things together. And so you got my number. And if you ever over here in the uh, Lexington area or Corbin, that's where I was talking about the Sunday's barbecue, we'll go over there and have us a barbecue and chop it up. What a pleasure meeting you, man. Man, you made my evening as well. All right, Terrell, and be safe out there in them trucks too, man, because as I told you the other day, I, I meet a lot of truckers out there because I'm always out there on the road myself. And I want you to be safe, man, and go with God's care. And as long as you're in God's care, you're going to be all right. Because that's a big truck, man. And, you know, a lot of people out there, man, don't have no regards for their own life. But thank God you got regards for their life and your life as well. All right, Terrell, pleasure meeting you, big guy. All right, and I know we're going to be getting together. I do know that, all right? 
I do know that. You better be calling me, young man. All right, so we're going to go on to Charles. Now, this is the manager at Speedway. Uh, I thought he was a new uh, employee. He told me he was a manager at Speedway. He'd been around for like eight, nine months. I said, okay, so I said, hey, what, Charles? I'm shouting you out. Uh, great, great work over there at Speedway, man. You guys keep everybody happy, man. That place stay packed. <laughs> that place stay packed. And uh, that's a beautiful thing because you got to have great people, man, buying those counters with great personalities in order for these people to continue to come back because, you know, nasty spirits, nasty attitudes won't do it for a lot of people when they're spending their money. But uh, Speedway got some great people over there. I pretty much know everybody over there because that's where I get all my gas and little items that I need before I take my long journeys taking these historical landmarks. But it was a pleasure meeting you guys. And the last but not least, man, I want to shout out my man Cornell. I was coming out of Speedway and I heard this nice music, man, and loud music. Nice music, but loud music. And I said, wow, it reminds me of the days when I was eight, uh, 17, 16 with the big boom box in the back of my car. Oh, man, it was sounding so good. So I had to go over there and comment to me I made on his music. <laughs> and I got to meet him. Courtney, I shout you out with your loud music, man. Uh, if anybody got bad ears, boy, they in trouble. Because, boy, that thing there, boy, it'll, it'll knock the rest of your ear sound out. <laughs> we had some loud music. But it was sounding good, man. Ain't nothing like some good music coming out of some good uh, sound systems. And that man had some sound system in that truck. Yeah, it was nice meeting you, Cornel. God bless you, man. And I wish you tra uh, safe travels in everything that you do, man. And protect them speakers, man. Protect them speakers, boy. They, they sound good. All right, guys. But that's it for me today. If I missed anybody, man, you can beat me up later. I, I will find out if I missed anybody. I'll come back and redouble up to make sure I see your flowers. But that's what I love to do, guys. Go out every day when I'm out here taking these landmarks. I get to meet great people. And I don't mind giving them flowers while they're alive. And uh, it, it just mean the world to me. I get that warm fuzzy feeling to meet people and just give them some flowers while they're alive. It mean the world to me. I do that with my veterans and I do that with my Colorado Buffalo. I shout everybody out, man. Let them know that I love you. I do love you. If nobody else, I love you. All right, that's it for me today, guys. But before I go to the world, you might be one person. But to that one person, you just might be the world. And people don't care how much you know until first they know how much you care. And I won't see each and every one of you at the top. I'm going to see each and every one of you over the top. Until next time we meet out there somewhere. And this your boy, Professor Bowtie, on the scene. And my high visibility green. You better stop playing with me. <laughs> until next time. <laughs>